and welcome back to my channel. So I thought today, given that you know it's near the end of the month and 2024 is off to an interesting start, that I would kind of take a few minutes to sit down and do um, a little bit of a 2024 in and out video. I'm sure if you are on Instagram and maybe even TikTok, I don't really watch TikTok, but there have been so many in and out reels or posts that honestly, I love the idea behind it so much more than just resolutions. Um, I have shared in the past like goals I wanna do for the year and resolutions, and to be honest, I'm really genuinely crap at it. <laughs> so I really loved the idea of doing the in and out where it's not so much regimented of things that you're trying to do, but the things that you wanna let go of and things that you kind of wanna receive. So I will post my little in and out here and another one that kind of inspired me was um, in the fro Victoria. She did kind of a little montage of um, things that she wanted to achieve this year in a video. And I really kind of liked the approach and just like, I don't know, I guess then kind of the subtopics that she covered. So I'm gonna take a little bit of inspiration from that. So there's a couple different categories that she utilized. I'm not gonna do all of them. So I'm just gonna show you the ones that I'm gonna do. I haven't written down because I have no memory right now. <laughs> so some of the topics, are like key goals, to-dos, um, habits to gain, habits to lose, which again, some of them will kind of reflect from my in and outs. The last one that I'm just kind of touching on is trip. So I'm actually gonna start with that one. Scott and I don't really travel. Um, with purchasing a house last year, travel, like our honeymoon has kind of been postponed, and the house investment is obviously so much better than any kind of honeymoon you could have had. But originally, for anyone who's new, um, I think I shared during my wedding series that we were planning to go to Iceland for our honeymoon and we were so stoked for it But one thing that I would like to do is a little baby moon and by no means are we gonna be flying to the Bahamas or St. Lucia or somewhere warm and hot um, We've kind of been considering something a little more local and I'm a bit torn Part of me is kind of drawn to going to like Montreal and just kind of like getting out of our area and having a little like weekend getaway. But on the same time, we're also kind of near cottage country and there's a lot of like outdoor cabin type, I don't wanna say campsites, but I guess kind of campsites that we've also thought of, or even just going to like Blue Mountain and having a little weekend retreat, but I just don't know when it's gonna happen. So that is really the only goal for um, trips. <laughs> there will be no other, no other traveling for the foreseeable future. All right, so I'm gonna kind of go into habits to gain, habits to lose. There's one thing on my habits to gain that I'm honestly, I'm not really vibing with, but I'm putting it there to challenge myself. I hate cooking. I hate it. I have zero desire to be in the kitchen and do that kind of stuff. So sue me. I get a lot of people who are like, oh, just try something. I don't want to try. I don't like it. <laughs> I really want to change my mindset with it. Baking, whole different story. I enjoy baking, I want to bake more. So that's also a habit I'd like to gain, is I'd like to try some new recipes. This weekend, I am making cake pops for the first time because we are doing our gender reveal with our extended family, which I'm so excited for. So again, that's the personal foray for baking of this year. And I know it's something special and I'm not gonna be making elaborate things, but I think that that might be my stepping stone into the kitchen. But yeah, I'd like to find a couple recipes that I can gain the confidence in making. A habit I would love to gain, and this again kind of feeds into something I would like to lose as well, is I need to believe in myself more. I need to believe that I am capable of doing the things that I'm capable of doing. And this is in like work, home, like online stuff, I need to stop doubting myself. So I need to believe that I am capable of doing and achieving the things I want to achieve. And I would love to find some new creative outlets, and it's not new to me because I am a bit of a creative outlet hopper, if you will. I find something, I like get a whole bunch of things for it, I make like one project and I move on. So I would like to focus on some of the different creative outlets that I've tried. So I've done some crocheting, I've done some um, like embroidery, or I guess needlework, stitch work, cross stitch, that's the word. So I would like to do more of those and kind of spend more time doing that. And now for the things I'd like to lose, 
And again, some of these are kind of connected. I would really like to stop, I said absorbing myself in YouTube because we don't have television, like we don't have any cable or anything. And so I spend my evenings watching YouTube. Obviously we watch movies, there's shows that Scott and I will watch together, but I genuinely just watch YouTube. Recently, and I don't know if it's a pregnancy thing or not, but recently like I've lost the enthusiasm for it and I do it out of routine and habit because I'm like, oh yeah, this is what I do to like unwind or, or whatever. So um, I'd like to kind of veer away from that. And same with my phone, like I pick up my phone to do one thing and then I'm scrolling through Facebook, I'm scrolling through Instagram, and then I look up and oh my god, how much time has passed by. So I'd like to kind of step away from the technology side of things, and again, that's when I want to get into some of the creative things. I've been doing some puzzles recently. Whereas two weekends ago, I hyper-focused and did a thousand piece puzzle in one weekend, and by one weekend, I mean a day. I need to spend my time on those things and not on technology. Delaying workouts or avoiding all that stuff. I'm obviously not trying to run a marathon. I'm not trying to hulk out as I'm pregnant, but I know that I need to incorporate cardio at the very least. And I was, I've been approved to do some weights and stuff like that, um, but I just avoid it and I don't think about it. And then when I think about it, it's too late and I'm too tired and I don't want to. And one thing I need to lose is my all or nothing mindset. And unfortunately it's just been programmed into me. And so I am, really having to focus on breaking that habit and it's hella hard it is so challenging but I know that for my own mental health and just growth and development I need to break away from the all or nothing so I need to take those baby steps to do something and not think oh this is awful I'm not gonna get it done that ties in with like you know not being so critical of myself not holding myself back um, again, believing in myself that I can actually do something and stop the negative self-talk of um, basically self-destructive. Like it's just, it's not helpful and it holds me back. And like the best example I can kind of give is like my Instagram to give a social media perspective because this is kind of like where I get stuck in my head. I come up with ideas and then I don't act on them or I don't think they're good enough or I haven't developed them enough or I don't feel like I'm, you know, pretty enough that day. I'm literally filming today because it looked like crap the last few days and was like, ew, I don't want to go on camera looking like this. So I did my hair this morning and I was like, I'm going to film today. And so I hold myself back and I prevent myself from doing things and therefore I don't post stuff. And then I'm surprised when, you know, things don't progress. I'm really not surprised, but I digress. So I need to just bite the bullet, take the baby steps, get over it, do something. I need to stop worrying and I need to stop caring about other people's opinions. I go for that external validation. I need people to tell me that I'm doing something right, that I'm doing a good job, that, you know, X, Y, Z is fabulous, etc. I don't believe it for myself, as evidenced by everything else I've already said. So I need to just stop caring about what other people think. It's so difficult. I am somebody who is very sensitive to criticism and to anything that can be construed as negative against me, like if I'm not doing something right or I'm not doing something good enough or whatnot. So I'm very, I guess, hyper aware of that. And again, that feeds into the, oh my God, everything is crap. I don't wanna do stuff. That's probably the heftiest list. This is not gonna happen overnight. It might not be happening for six months. It might not happen at the end of the year. Some of these are probably going to cross over to next year. A lot of this stuff is really things that I would like to kind of develop the habits for. All right, so some general to-dos that I would like to get done. And again, these are kind of front-loading the year because baby is here in June. My nursery, the nursery, the nursery. I am like fighting the nesting, fighting the nesting right now, I'm not gonna lie, because I don't need to change everything yet. I wanna be able to be in this room kind of as long as possible because my office is being discombobulated, it's being shifted. I brought a brand new desk from Ikea that's going to go into our bedroom. It's a bit smaller than my desk, my desk is quite large. Um, that's gonna go into the basement. I'm getting a little crafting cave, if you will. And there's lots of little things and I'm trying to do them in stages when I have the energy for it, when I have the motivation for it, where it's not gonna be an all or nothing at the very end because that will be just stressful. So just, you know, 
trying to contemplate what the nursery is going to look like. Colors, design, and these are things that don't really particularly interest Scott. So obviously I asked his opinion, but it's something that like, if I want this room painted, I'm the one that's going to have to do it, which I'm fine with. But it's like finding the time to mentally do that. I would like to walk more. And again, that ties into the not procrastinating, but also once baby's here, we need to walk. We're going to walk every day. And I say that and I need to do it because it's good for both of us and for Scott. It's good for all of us. There's no drawback to walking. I need to declutter. Now again, this ties in with nesting and I have been more ruthless as of late, which is great. Um, still probably not as ruthless as I should be, but I'm gonna take, take it where I can. Um, I want to continue to reorganize our basement, go through the bins again, um, properly label them, tidy things up and go, am I ever gonna wear this scarf again? No, these gloves, no. Um, and then just kind of pare things down. Is it gonna happen overnight? No. Am I gonna purge everything? Not as much as I wish. But again, baby steps. Progress over perfection. That needs to be my mantra for this year. So decluttering in general. Again, my office in particular, I purged a bunch of things so that when I move stuff to whatever room it's going to, we're not lugging a bunch of crap. And then in general, I wanna be more mindful of my health and my body. Right now I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm a little bit stuck in my head with uh, my pregnancy. And again, just kind of adapting to the body changes. There's a lot going on. Um, and then like, you know, worrying that I'm not doing enough, so on and so forth. So just kind of being mindful of that and um, making the little changes here and there where I can. And now finally, some key goals for this year. And again, you can see that so much of my stuff is kind of intertwined. So a lot of the key goals are more, uh, I would say, socials based because this is one of those things, if you guys don't know, I have been on YouTube now, I'm going into my 13th year and I'm not, I am not even a micro, micro influencer by any stretch of the imagination. And like, I'm okay with that, but I would love I would love to grow on socials. I'd love to grow on YouTube, my Instagram, and so on. And again, I hold myself back in a lot of ways. I've never dedicated myself the way that I know I need to, to see a difference. And yeah, so I would like to grow on socials. I would like to kind of commit to myself, even though I know I have to be realistic with it. I'll keep it simple. For Instagram, let's hit 2K. That's all. YouTube, let's hit 1K and I'd be happy. <laughs> Those would be the little milestones that are very, very small, but would mean the world to me. So if you've got this far and you're not already subscribed, I know like 93% of you aren't subscribed to my channel when you guys watch my videos, please consider subscribing. I'd love to continue to kind of connect with, I would say local, they're not local to me anymore because I'm, I'm north of the city, but there were several Toronto girls that I used to see at events back when I used to go to events pre-COVID that I would love to kind of, you know, connect more with, and especially um, online. I like internet friends, internet friends are fabulous. So I'd like to kind of build those relationships and find some more like, like-minded people. And maybe there are some people up around me that I can connect with. In general, a work-life balance is definitely a key goal. And again, this is gonna be a major shift. Um, after this semester, I'm actually reducing my course load for SEM2 and I'm looking forward to it in one regard because it'll just be easier for me as I get more and more pregnant and the optimism of being able to work up to my due date, I'm not sure how that's going to go, but just again, finding ways of turning off, which I'm really not good at. Scott's very good at telling me that I'm not good at it and tries to help me, but kind of allowing myself to know like, hey, Forcing myself to do something today isn't going to be productive and I'm just going to be grouchy and, you know, not get as much out of something as if I was more well rested. So finding a work-life balance and just a balance in life with like family and friends and work and online and all that jazz. I would love to reconnect with some of my old friends. There are friends that I used to be so incredibly close with and we just kind of like, I don't know, moved on and I know that you go through seasons and I know that you grow apart from people but there's some people that like I still chat with like online and I would love to reconnect with. 
I'd also like to make some new friends where, you know, I might meet a local mom group and finally get some people who are, you know, in the area who have a little one. So I'm looking forward to that. Making new friends as an adult is freaking rough, guys. <laughs> okay? You take university and high school and stuff for granted when you see people all the time and you're almost like forced to see them because you have class with them. And then you become an adult and it just, it all fizzles out. Uh, a big key goal is to read more. Anything and everything. Listening to podcasts, learning things, kind of growing my mind is something I would love to do, but also just to be able to escape in a good novel or a good series. Um, I think I touched on, touched on this one already and that's knowing when to rest, when to let go of things. That can be hard. And again, a key goal is just to take those baby steps. I know I've mentioned that like in five different places, but that is probably like the biggest takeaway of all the things that I want to accomplish or that I want to let go of is just taking those baby steps and allowing myself to start the progress and start the process of things and not expect these miracles or expect things to kind of happen overnight. That is how I am starting 2024. <laughs> I would love to know any of your ins and outs that you are hoping to bring into your life and get rid of in your life in 2024. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I really do want to get back into filming some more of my other style of content. Uh, I do love to vlog. Um, I just always joke that my life is not as exciting, so I need to just embrace that like home life can still be good content, um, but with being home more moving forward, um, I'm hoping that I can dedicate a little more time, especially to my fashion videos, because I really do love those ones so much. They're probably my favorite to film, but they just take a lot of time and so I don't give myself the time for them. But yes, I would love to do some more lifestyle, fashion, makeup. I miss doing makeup, although I know tutorials are not what they used to be. So we'll see, we'll see what I come up with. But I would love if you would join me on this journey and hit that subscribe button, like and comment. You guys can find me on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.